Hey guys, this is Jeff from Adirondack Woodsman. So today I, we're working on finishing up some ash trees that uh, we cut here on my friend Brad's property. And uh, you can see that right now there's one this way and then we have two over that way. Uh, we've done most of the pruning of the tree. Um, I'll turn around the uh, camera here and you can see over here there's some piles over here, some piles over there, and then over there are the other two uh, trees. And so, so what we're going to do is these we're going to cut into logs. This one unfortunately uh, it's not a super big deal but when it fell there was so much weight um, on the upper branches that when it came down it split wide open and so um, there's still a significant amount of wood in the upper piece so we're going to still use that on the mill and we'll cut that into boards uh, that will probably end up being firewood it's actually probably too thin to really get anything useful out of it um, but what we're going to do is cut this into uh, into sections that we can use on the mill and whatever we don't keep to, to mill up we're going to cut into firewood so hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, thanks for watching
broken up a little bit. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna try that kind of next. I'm gonna. I think that's holding it some, but I'm gonna take this one out next. I think. Anything I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a log underneath this thing, so when it comes down. It'll make a rut, but it'll make a less of a rut. It's kind of under there. Got that? Okay. Yeah. Oops. I know. Which is probably good if you... I'm gonna get my big saw for over here, but I gotta find my uh, my board. There it is. Oh. I'm gonna use this just to saw to market. There's a thing I got at my camp. I haven't used it yet, but I didn't bring it. It magnetics on here. 16 inches or you can adjust it and then you can just put the put it in the cut of the previous like you just mark it all the way down and then you take the magnetic thing off you only put it on just to mark it huh. so but do you want to grab those uh couple there this is a bonus for you These are just... yeah i know i saw that they're dry as a bone too you know see how far it is down there Can you, just to the crotch just before the crotch here yeah that'll give me 10 feet so that's perfect so I don't I use the big saw to cut it but Uh, first. Yeah, so I don't want to make these freaking things too big either. You know, won't be able to carry them. Um, are you gonna log some of this too? Uh, yeah, I'll take a look. I'm not sure. I'll get to it. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yep, you can do that. Yeah, uh, we're thinking that, I don't know when you want to come and get some of this stuff. My dad's got that old home wheel trailer. Yep. I think if you come around the barn, it's kind of that way. down here, it's all pretty hard in here. 
be able to get some stuff out that way you know, pretty soon. Yep. And like I said, I'll bring my tractor over and that's got a big bucket on it. Put in that millet that you can, you don't got to lift it, like for the really big ones. We can just put the bucket down by it and roll them on. Let's work. I mean, however you want to do it. Depends if it's firm enough. We'll have to wait for it to be firm enough. But. So, how, so what do you want to do here? We're going to put something underneath it probably, right? So we want to, I'm going to probably cut that branch that's well, underneath. Saying let's try to clear a bunch yeah, of yeah. stuff out of here so yep. we can burn that. No. But do we want to put anything underneath it so it's not sitting in the... Perhaps. Maybe a couple of those half chunks. Yeah. It'll sit flat. I'm probably going to take... This is going to have to go anyway, so I'm going to take that off. Right, yeah. So um, take that off. And then we'll just kind of clear off. Yeah. Not let, me get, let me get these three sections taken off. And I'll trim the... I like to trim while it's up in the air the knots. Um, yep. One underneath there too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You well, you got one here. You might have a couple here already. I'm just thinking something, something so it's not completely on the ground. It's probably going to, might turn a little bit. Um, but. Put it this way. Can we have a fire down here? Yep. I don't want to have another one. <laughs> right. I'm almost done. I'm gonna cut the trim with the small saw of those little pieces. That's what I'm saying. Things like this are just so much easier when you when you uh, can just roll it into the bucket. <laughs> yeah. question for this really big piece it says what if we have a couple options I can haul it out or what if I brought the mill here in the summer yeah. and we milled you know we get them cut up and all that but then you know my thought is if we uh, we wouldn't have to go across your yard with any of this either. Hey. Oh, this is all real hard on the shoreline when you're back yeah. here. Yeah. Depends on when it's raining. I found your other nail. Yeah, well, there could be <laughs> others, I don't know. Yeah. You can see there were some staple marks on the cord there, so. Right. Because this is, even if I cut it down eight feet, it may still be too big for the, for the uh, tractor. I mean, skidding winch could pull it probably, but it'll make a mess probably. Yeah, this is gonna weigh a lot. Yeah. I should have cut the end of this before I uh, set it down, before it went down like that, but it'll probably pop back up once I cut it on that end. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot I talked about rolling it with that uh, cable. 
Okay, I'm gonna cut this. What do we want to get out of here first? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't why don't we why don't I leave uh, this log under there and then maybe slide that one down a little bit. Roll that out. Um I'm thinking there may be one log there. This is probably too curvy for the mill, so I'll probably get that out. Yeah. Once I get my, yeah, we can do that too. We can noodle it after. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to just set it down easily. Roll. Yeah. What I'll, what I'll do is, so what I'm gonna, come your way or something? I'm gonna cut it slow this way, and it'll it should just cantilever down light gently. Okay. I might even use a small saw. Yeah. yeah. Usually I start I put a notch underneath to start out with, so there's a place to to go. Believe me, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up if I have to. Get that log out of your way. So yeah. It's kind of you gotta move it anyway. It's kind of anyway. Yeah. It's not reaching far enough. Yeah. That's all right, I'll recut it later. It's down. Get your feet, that was good. Yeah. I was ready to back up. Okay. What do we got over there? You know, I might as well cut this stuff off. I, I, I can probably get one log out of here. It won't be quite as long, but I gotta see what the diameter of this is, too. It's a good size, man. It is. It should fit on the mill. It'll be close. I'll probably cut it here. For the now, well, it's not even much of a log if I do that. No. Um. And it's like 36 inches from here to there. So what what you would what I would do as far as the mill goes is whoops hand just up my eye is slice this off and probably sun down at the bottom and uh, the problem is you end up with crotch wood in the middle so I'll probably just cut that for firewood and like you said noodle it in half. The impacts are probably here. You're fine. Yeah. The limb coming off of here and stuff. Yep. Short? No, I'm not going to do a log out of it. Probably, I'll just. Oh, it's too much work for the amount of wood you're going to get out of it for shorter pieces. Um, okay. Oops. There's a 
decompression button you gotta push. Oops. That's a big boy. Give me the PV there. I'm gonna try to just roll it this way. So it's out of the way. I don't want to drop the next one until I have room. It's amazing how much leverage you can get with one of those PVs. Okay. I'm kind of leaving these sticks here because if it comes down, yeah, it's not rolling my way. Okay. I'm gonna, I was going to cut that one with a saw, okay. just that one, and uh, maybe cut down on the end a little bit. And a couple, uh, I mean, now that you got this kind of chunked up, we can kind of go back and put the log here. Right. Did you want a log out of any of this? Or? Well, I was looking at it. It could be sections. We're not going to probably be as long, but it's here, and there's a cross right here in the ground. Yeah, I'm guessing I got about six or seven feet here. There's definitely one there, I think. But yeah, you got something between that crotch and probably here. Or, you know, there's a crotch in the ground here and one there, but. Yeah, you're looking at eight feet to there. Yeah, but by the time you, you look at the ball here, yeah, there, probably you not. Much left in the middle. I got a couple of really good ones over there too, so you know, so I, you know, I think I. I probably won't. I got one log, two logs. Right. You can always cut them off in the firewood yeah. later if you decide you don't want them. So keep what you think you want. Yeah. Later. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do for today is cut that thing and then finish up down, probably at least the end there. Cut. And that one. These two crotches and that yeah. piece. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that. I'm probably going to run out of gas in this saw, uh, I'm guessing. Well, or or I'll wait till it runs out and I'll be done. That you can do that too. <laughs> my doc, my father does have a couple. Uh,
I could tell it was about at its end of, end of the gas. When it starts to rub up in here, and eee, it's empty. So, okay. Oh, yeah. So, we get quite a bit. Keep this foot on the bark, and that way it won't absorb all the water. Huh? Miser that right off, and then get the log out of longer. Well, Might be better off getting one from here to there. I don't know if we measured that. Yeah, I don't think we did. Because it's straight. It's this part comes right off, right? Yeah. Go. Just go from the crotch, the way down. Like, no, 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 I'm sorry, right here. The end of this log, end of that log there. That's eight feet, so. So that would, be, I think this would be a bet, I mean, I could be wrong. To get on the mill, you can't tell for sure, but I think that'd be a better log. And, uh, you know, I almost could cut that little strap and it probably would roll right down, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it's better there. Yeah, it's off the ground. And we got we got to figure out what before we get. I don't know. Hopefully, not. right. If it is much better and be. I think it's right there, and it's up in the air. Yeah. Roll it into a bucket. There's a Plus, if you want to mark the cable over there too, the, where right. the nails were, it's in the right position now. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna go look over there. I'm not cutting any more, but um, now I'm gonna pick up and yeah. get going. I gotta do a little more work today. I was say. Nice job, Jeff. This is my friend Brad, and he was nice enough to give me this nice ash that we're going to cut up in a combination of firewood and logs. We got it. And uh, he, uh, I'm going to just show you real quick the beautiful place he has here on the lake. If I turn this around, you can see the nice setting he has. So he is like me, and we're waiting for summer. And yeah. uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and. Uh, for we'll, the dock and the boat. <laughs> we got a lot done today. We're going to end up, we cut some up into logs and we're going to work on the rest of it uh, in a, sometime in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Sounds good to me. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and hit like and subscribe.